Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So this is gonna be a bit a sad episode and uh, if you're watching from YouTube, this is the live stream over on Twitch. So if anyone is watching from uh, Twitch right now live, please lend, let me any kind of comment you want in the live stream. I will answer your question and um, yeah. The topic of this episode, of course, is uh, the fad that is going on right now. The news came out just uh, some hours ago. Um, I was driving when I received um, uh, the notification and I already put it in my Discord trading chat. So shout out to everyone that is also a member of my free Discord trading chat. If you want to join, uh, you find the link down below here in the video description. And... Um, yeah, the problem is now that the CFTC uh, charges BitMEX, uh, especially, especially the CEO, offer Hayes uh, um, that maybe you have to go to jail or anything like that. And um, yeah, with illegally operating derivatives exchange uh, because they have no KYC, nothing, and uh, they make like the US people um, uh, available to like trade uh, Bitcoin uh, on their exchanges and so on and of course we don't know yet uh, how this is going um, to end this uh, lawsuit but um, yeah of course you see already now what is going uh, to happen here uh, the Bitcoin price is uh, dropping and why is it dropping not because he has to go to jail but um, because of course people are afraid at least this is my opinion what is going on right now why the bitcoin price is falling because um we don't see the same thing happening like right now on the stock so that means that this is just a crypto related thing and why is it dropping in my opinion it is because probably people are afraid that bitmax could because of this lawsuit uh, get off of all their bitcoin that they have uh, and they have quite a lot so this is what I think is one reason maybe some people are starting to sell off here or maybe BitMEX is already starting to sell off I don't think so but this is maybe a reason why we are seeing currently this sell-off because once we crashed here today we were looking quite healthy trading here to the upside towards our possible resistance of eleven thousand two hundred dollar but uh, currently we are dropping and uh, the funny thing is that in my own indicator, I got here uh, b just before the dump here a sell signal, not only here in the one hour time frame, but also in the three hour time frame. So I was taking uh, some little shorts, but uh, really just some little one with some tether. Even here on uh, BitMEX, I just took here some shorts with my uh, tether that I have a little bit on the sideline here on Bybit. Uh, the ones on uh, Binance I have already into some buy orders uh, towards uh, 9k but uh, I wanted to take this little trade here just based on the lower time frames here because there was a high chance that we maybe could uh, uh, see a possible sell off towards 10,500 but I didn't expect it to be so fast and uh, yeah it, it played out of course uh, but um, I think we could go even way lower down and the problem is that people are getting fearful of course because of this news and um, the other thing what I think also could happen and also why potentially the price is also dropping is that um, Alpha7772 welcome to Twitch thank you for subscribing here to the channel of course you're also welcome to join the YouTube channel this is my main channel and also of course the discord trading chat and um, yeah the thing that i think is also possible is that people probably were for a very long time already in longs so they were in long positions because so far we had always big funding rates if you open up a long position it doesn't matter on bitmax or on bybit or any other exchange so Probably some people maybe on those exchanges are, cl are closing now their longs. So in order to close uh, derivatives, in order to close uh, longs, you have to put in short. So you have to sell your orders. And that could also lead into a possible sell-off here. That is, of course, possible. But the thing is also that usually derivatives doesn't affect the price. So usually the derivatives doesn't affect really the 
um, the spot market price like we have here on Bitstamp for example but that could lead into big weeks or, or big differences in, uh, in the chart like for example on uh, Bybit or um, uh, Bitmax so that is a bit a problem if people are starting to closing their longs for example that could of course lead into a big problem and when of course you see the price on Bybit or, or Bitmax falling the cliff falling down the cliff uh, some of their um, traders maybe are going out and also cashing out their Bitcoin that is also uh, possible uh, Hi ADC, I am with you on Discord. Uh, Alpha, yeah, right. Alpha777, thank you very much, my friend. Yes, uh, I know you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm uh, not uh, too often right now in Discord watching. That's why I don't have uh, in my mind right now who is actively uh, chatting there. But I know you are uh, always active on Discord. So thank you very much for your support. And also your comments are always very much appreciated. And... Um, yeah, so probably on the way down now we will see some pull as well some breeders to the upside that is possible but um, Yeah, I think that could be really the The catalyst of this possible dump towards 9k as I also told you in today's video I told you where to buy Bitcoin. It is right here at the 20 monthly moving average here at 9,000 and also where most likely we're going to to uh, retrace here if we're gonna have a major crash in the stock market in the bitcoin price and so on this is the perfect buy entry right here and this maybe could be the possible beginning or like the catalyst for such a possible uh, dump especially if um, the stock market is also taking a dip currently uh, we are uh, still um, uh, rising here like in the S&P 500 mini futures and also in the Nasdaq we're still rising so in theory everything is still okay and we should see all the continuation to the upside also in the Bitcoin price so but if this was already it I don't know I'm not pretty sure this could be really just the beginning but of course maybe that's also just um, this fear that came in because of this news we dumped down here to the $10,500 support and currently we are bouncing from it that is of course uh, possible but um, I'm not gonna change anything on my trade so you see that I had this uh, little short uh, here opened and also uh, on Dudex I somehow cannot access uh, well now it's working I think uh, let me check here if my trade okay I have to log in Anyway, here I also have a small trade open and here on um, Prime XPT I'm trying out this co-vesting thing and I'm targeting here this uh, number one trader because um, this guy or this bot or whatever is following just the sentiment. So if sentiment is bad like now, it's taking a short. If sentiment is good, it's going up, it's taking a long and uh, currently uh, it looks that it's quite profitable and uh, also on this trade here i just started to follow him i already had here uh, today almost 30 percent uh, profit um yeah if someone is interesting in in trying out this co-vesting thing uh, you can open up an account with the link that you find down below here for prime xpt you can register with my link that you find down below here in the video description of the uh, youtube a video i will also put it here on uh, twitch oh i see the chat right now um igrai 77 uh, bitmax has two billion of bitcoin very scary yeah that is uh, the problem number one they own a lot of uh, bitcoin and they could of course dump the market if they want to cash out and get out of everything maybe who knows i don't think it's gonna happen but of course they can I mean it's not out of the range and that's why maybe we have seen already now this first initial dump towards the next support and uh, probably we're seeing also here a breather because there were a lot of buy orders or longs putting in here um, yeah so if they dump the market of course this could affect the um, um, the spot market a lot but uh, usually when you have so many bitcoins uh, you go OTC and you don't uh, just dump it on the market I mean even if they would dump it and the price would be going down towards uh, 5-4k uh, 
they would get way less than they would like for example trade it on uh, OTC for example so I don't think they will dump it but of course they can maybe a couple of it or who knows and um, also the thing that some people are closing their longs or their positions on BitMEX and cashing out of course that is also possible but usually derivatives they don't uh, they don't affect the spot uh, market unless of course they're taking out profits and then cashing it out that is uh, also possible who knows um, but yeah we will come to the bigger problem uh, later that I see here I don't see the bigger problem here in the price I mean a correction down to 9k was at any time expected doesn't matter if we're going now to 20 or 30k a correction down to 9k was at any time um, possible uh, Kadirski, nice to see you here on the Twitch. Uh, hi Ale, hope you're doing fine, my friend. Message to the people, join our Discord community and be part of the upcoming era. Yes, you're right. Thank you very much, my friend. We have the greatest community uh, here on the Discord. So if you have Discord, feel free to join us. Very, very nice community. And also, especially shout out to you, Kadirski. You brought a lot of good stuff during this uh, DeFi hype and uh, probably some people uh, had already um, taken a lot of uh, nice profits, thanks of you, and probably will also do in the future because I still think this is just the beginning and we will see probably the reputation of 2016 and 17, and 17 with the ICOs um, in the next bull market with the, with the DeFi space. This is at least my expectations. And yeah, um, the bigger problem that I see currently is that um, that the CFTC is going against BitMEX because they have uh, no KYC, people from the US can trade there, like using a VPN or whatever. I don't know if you even need a VPN, but probably. And um, yeah, I mean that they can do gains there. They can, of course, they can also lose a lot of money, but they can also gain a lot of money cashing it out um selling it for us dollar or just keep it or keep the gains in bitcoin of course that is the best thing to do but they can trade here without kyc nothing and the biggest problem that i see so far if we go just for an example let's go here to my recommended exchanges down here in my video description this is those are the exchanges that i also trade i don't trade on bitmax i left this exchange uh, i think now more than one year ago because it's really a bad exchange i i, I mean it's long story but um for example bybit here we don't have any kind of uh, KYC nothing and you can I think also withdraw as much as you can or anything like that doesn't matter Bitcoin US dollar whatever no KYC nothing and you can also even buy uh, all the cryptos you want at least those that are um, here listed uh, with your credit card very easily no KYC nothing Femex exactly the same thing no KYC nothing BTART, also no KYC, nothing. Dudex, same thing. Binance, same thing. I mean, Binance, uh, you can do verification, you can do KYC and you have more limitation, but even without KYC, you have full access to everything. And also you have, uh, I think also per day, you can withdraw like two Bitcoins or anything like that. And for rich people i mean rich people that are having a lot of bitcoins that is like twenty thousand uh, right now is twenty thousand dollars per day that you can withdraw without kyc nothing per day so you can buy every day a car and prime xpt exactly the same thing so what if this is just the beginning what we are seeing right now on uh, on a bitmax this is the biggest problem that i see right now so if they're starting to charge us here uh, bitmax uh, why they would stop uh, with BitMEX, why they, they they can also go to the other exchanges and this is what makes me a bit concerning the most, not the price. I mean the price, the cheaper it goes, uh, the better it is for us to buy in cheaper. Of course for your hotel portfolio it will not be the best when the price is dumping but uh, watching for the, looking forward for the next one, two years um, 
it doesn't matter if we're gonna face now a couple of weeks of uh, red, red weeks uh, below 10k this is really not important uh, in the opposite it will give us another opportunity to buy some more coins that we want and we're not seeing that big crash or anything like that so i mean it's not too bad it's just the risk here that bitmax could dump this 2 billion like you said igrai 77 i know they have like 2 billion or maybe even more uh, um, dollars worth of bitcoin um but there are also some whales that are having uh, so many bitcoins that could at any time uh, dump so i mean this uh, this this fear is always uh, here and uh, usually those kind of big crashes are always uh, been bought up very quickly in the past it doesn't matter uh, to what year you go back every time we have seen big crashes the price always have been bought up immediately and the same thing will also happen here the question is only is this uh, is this uh, thought here with bitmax going to take us uh, down towards 9k or maybe even lower who knows everything is possible but um, i still have my buy order starting here at nine thousand dollar and um yeah, I'm a bit afraid that probably I will go all in again here at around 9k, especially if I'm gonna see a bounce. Um, and there is still a risk that we could fall even towards. Uh, uh, let's go here into the weekly time frame, the Bollinger Band here, this uh, $8,200. There is still a risk, but yeah, at least I can say that I bought at 9k and not like at 20k or, or 12,500 here at the top. Uh, for sure for the long term you should have done very well and everything is okay but just here for the short to mid term if you want to buy some more in i can say that i bought here the bottom area if we are wicking below or if you're going lower then yeah that was bad luck it can happen especially when we have fought like this but overall i can tell that yeah i bought the dip here i bought when bitcoin was at the bottom and that's why i keeping my buy orders down there and uh, yeah i'm also planning to stack also some more of these altcoins that currently are crashing some of them are crashing a lot some of them not that much litecoin for example is uh, uh, yeah it's a bit recovering more than bitcoin but overall we have gonna have to see what will happen with uh, bitcoin of course and yeah we're just seeing a breather here, in my opinion we will see probably continuation and I'm still expecting, uh, at least till the election, um, the price to retrace towards 10k and probably also close the CME gap down to those levels. And I think this could be really the catalyst uh, for such a possible target down to those uh, levels that I still have. I didn't expect that we need such um, a news here to go that low, but of course now if this is going to play out and also if the stock market is maybe taking a, a hit uh, bitcoin could follow as well because i mean also here the the stock market is not looking too healthy in my opinion this looks like a top and um, we could see some continuation to the downside of course as long as we're creating lower lows and uh, lower highs also in the lower time frames here so let's see but uh, this is at least where I gonna buy in a uh, Bitcoin and of course uh, I'm not gonna sell or do anything right now. Uh, if you have to, uh, if you took out profits uh, right now or towards here this 12k or also yesterday or today when I told you it's still not too late to take a bit of profits out if you think the price is coming down. Uh, then just wait till the price is coming down and if it's starting to moon then you should be also doing fine. You should be always prepared for all uh, scenarios and um, yeah it was diff I mean you, you couldn't predict this but uh, these shorts that I have opened here this these were really just small ones because I had really just um, the sell signal here in the in the lower time frames you can see here in the one hour was just before the dump uh, the three hour also was looking a bit exhausted but also here we had a lot of room left to the upside I was pretty confident that we were reaching this eleven thousand two hundred dollar uh, today or this week and right now it looks like that we have a complete retracement back down and uh, yeah it's not it's not too bad I mean it's everything 
above 8k should be okay if we're dropping below 8k then of course things are starting to look a bit more bearish and also we have to see how long we're gonna stay sub 10k but if you want my own opinion the lower we go the more you should buy so the, if we're reaching 9k and maybe even go lower so if we're reaching um this red trend line here if we are really reaching these areas down here at around nine thousand two hundred dollar in my opinion buy everything you can because for the long long term you should be doing fine and um and here at these levels of course we will have a lot of uh, buy pressure here I think the only reason why we could drop lower is really if we're gonna have like a second big crash like in March or like the stock market is dumping like crazy and um, we will need like the end of the world to go really again below uh, 6k or anything like that so that's why if you think the world is not going down then 9k is the perfect buy entry and of course you can already start now to scale in since we already had here an initial a dump towards 10,500 and at the end it doesn't matter if you bought in at 10,005 or at uh, 9,000 the difference is like 10% uh, or something like that so it's not that big of a deal it's not like you can buy the double of the Bitcoin but uh, yeah this is at least my price target 9k is where I have my buy orders I will not sell or not buy anything well actually today I bought also some uh, Bitcoin but really just a little bit to round up the number that I have on my wallet um, but just because of that and not because uh, I was thinking we will go higher or anything like that yeah and uh, if you want to try it out also this co-westing thing here on the Prime XPT I mean of course buy bit if you trade yourself uh, is always the best if you trade yourself but if you also want to have something passive to try it out uh, so far prime xpt is i think the only one that has this co-westing thing and so far i'm following this uh, number one uh, guy or bot or whatever it is because uh, it's just based on sentiment not on technicals nothing so this one so far had the best performance and although for me, for at least since I'm following it, I have almost 30%. So if you want to use it, take advantage, sign up there, maybe put like uh, $50 or anything like that worth of Bitcoin and let it go. If it's uh, if it doubles, take out the in initial investment and then let it go. And um, of course, if you think that you can outperform it, the best traders here, you can also trade at your own and you can share it here and people can also follow you and if people are uh, following you you will get also a commission based on their um, a capital that they put into you so if they're making money you also profit from that at the same time so at the end it's a quite a nice idea because if you are trading profitable not only you will uh, make gains with your trades but also if other people are doing uh, gains with your trades you can also profit uh, from them and currently i'm not trading here on prime xpt i'm trading here on dudex uh, bybit femex and uh, btart here i'm just trying out this co-westing thing because it's like a, a feature that only prime xpt uh, has so far and i i find it quite interesting and quite a nice uh, uh, thing uh, that makes this exchange a bit uh, unique yeah so my friends the message from this video is just don't panic take it, take it as an opportunity if you plan to long 10,500 then go ahead you can do it right now but of course um, i'm expecting continuation to the downside and um, at least for the short term where I will buy big stacks of Bitcoin again and starting to uh, think about to open up big longs unless we are breaking here this $11,200 resistance then of course I'm again more bullish and we should head towards next level uh, but as long as we're trading within this uh, wedge here we are just chopping around it's nothing new Alpha 7772 US is planning 2.2 trillion new stimulus. They will do anything to keep it up before election. Today is a good buy a dip. We may end 10,008. Yeah, possible. 
possible, everything is possible. So maybe I should close my shorts, you know, probably, yeah. At least this one here, maybe I just put a stop loss. It was a small one, but... Uh, uh, let's put it uh, here. Let's put it here at 10,620 and that's it. Just a little stop loss. This, this money here is a little bit I won. Uh, this is like 0 0.05 Bitcoin with 10x leverage that I use. This is kind of small tether that I won during the competition, the Bybit, comp Bybit competition. And I'm uh, since I'm not re since the price didn't reach my target of 9k yet, I'm not changing it into Bitcoin. So I took this short. Uh, in order to multiply the tether to buy even more Bitcoin once we're reaching those uh, levels, if you're reaching those levels right now. Otherwise, I'm all okay with that. And here I have no idea if it's currently long or short. Probably it's still in a short position. Let's see if it's going to play out or not. Uh, who knows? And um, yeah, I think buying the dip is always good. So if you don't want to wait for 9K, even now is good. You can buy even right now. I still expect to reach uh, and at least close the CME gap at $9,600, but if you don't want to wait to retest this uh, trend line here and also uh, close the CME gap, already now is a good buy. Also here when we dropped towards 10k was also a good uh, buy opportunity because uh, uh, we had a buy signal in the daily down here, as you can see, also RSI was very low and yeah it was a good opportunity to buy even though the gap is not completely filled that means that probably we will once come down to fill it i hope that it's gonna be soon to test the 200 daily confirm it as a support and then bounce again from it close the cme gap and to go higher because otherwise we could close this gap maybe after topping out in the next new all-time high maybe Maybe after reaching 100,000, we will crash 90% down to 10K, close the CME gap, and then have another big run towards 200,000. This is everything what we have seen already in, uh, before 2017. Wouldn't be something uh, new that uh, we're gonna see something like that. That is, of course, uh, possible. Because also here, if you go back in the past, here we were at 1300 we came up to $3,000 this is the double okay this is the double from the old uh, all time high here in 2017 February we came up here 3000 and then we crashed down to 1860 so something similar could happen again and then what happens? We went up again, 5,000, crashed, down again to 3,000. And then you know what happened afterwards. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't definitely sell everything because you think it's going $1,000 less. This $1,000 can cost you maybe millions of dollars in the future. So never sell everything, never sell everything. Only your trading portfolio. If you believe in what you're investing, then keep it as long as possible if you're not forced to sell it to survive. And um, yeah, if this four hour candle is going to end up in a big week here, we're going to see continuation to the upside for sure. Um, yeah, we got here a sell signal, but of course now because of this uh, dump that we had, um, uh, I wouldn't trust it too much and uh, yeah even if we see a bounce now towards again 10,670 um, yeah we are gonna have to see what will happen tomorrow I think the best thing is to relax tonight don't think about it don't uh, panic sell or do anything like that if you want to buy the dip then feel free to buy it um, otherwise just keep calm and all of this news here i mean they're just starting with this it's nothing clear nothing is con is for sure we also have to wait and see how this is gonna 
end up and even if they have two billions worth of bitcoin um, yeah who knows i don't think they will dump the market uh many forget we are post halving supplies limited and many will buy the dips yeah that's why i'm telling you if this would have came out if we would have been in the time here when we topped out here at fourteen thousand the last time let's go to the weekly time frame if we were at these stages here and such a news is coming out then i would say okay maybe sell a bit sell the most because probably we are going way lower because here we were before halving we had a nice run to the upside and uh, at that point here we reached the 0.618 fib line and the problem here was that we were before the halvening so we started to trade sideways here we started to consolidate the thing is that we had your nicer run up towards 10,500 and then came March and March crashed everything it doesn't matter what you're looking everything was crashing and and now we have recovered back up not only we came back down to where we were before i mean back up to where we were before yeah 10,500 but we also broke it and we also broke this significant trend line here and uh, right now we are fighting here to go higher and higher and this is after the happening limited supply after happening selling right now is too dangerous it's not worth the risk to sell even if we would go down here to the 200 weekly moving average at 7,000, why are you selling at 10,000 to buy at 7,000? I mean, you can buy one third more of Bitcoin, of course, but uh, you have to be 24 seven in front of the screen and praying that the price is going down to these levels. And once you're reaching these levels, you have to click buy and your order needs to get filled. It, it's also possible that it's just going straight back up again after touching this point and you, you are too late. Maybe you are sleeping or you're driving or whatever you're doing, you're eating and you're going to miss it. And then you have to maybe rebuy somewhere ten, twelve thousand dollars, and the 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 whole stress was for nothing. So it's not worth the risk after the happening. Before the happening, maybe yes, but not after the happening. Right now, you have to look where to buy uh, the dips, uh, when to buy. You have to look for good buy opportunities. And also, if you are maybe a miner or if you was mining in the past, you have to think about even to start mining again because if you are repeating the same things like 2016 and 17 uh, 17 already right now if you even just uh, mine a little piece of bitcoin for example um this will be way more worth in the future um i don't know where i have my miner yet but uh, because of the live stream now i don't have my miner set up but i have I'm setting up also my old miners again. Uh, currently I'm mining with the Vega cards. This is my setup for the Vega cards. You see low power consumption and uh, and they are mining quite nicely Ethereum currently. As long as you can mine Ethereum, um, you, should, you should do it because in the future it will be worth uh, way more. And if you also want to mine some Bitcoin or Ethereum with your computer, you can do that with the Kudo miner. Because even if it's not anymore possible to mine directly Bitcoin or in the future even not mine directly Ethereum with the Kudo miner, uh, is, uh, this miner is, is very easy and is selecting automatically the, the best uh, profitable coin to mine with your uh, uh, graphics card or with your computer. And it converts immediately in whatever coin you want, in Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever you want. So you can mine, for example, Ravencoin or uh, Monero or whatever coin, and it's gonna convert it immediately into Bitcoin or Ethereum or the coin that you want to keep, and uh, you can withdraw it, of course. And that's why mining Bitcoin and Ethereum will be always possible, even if it's not anymore directly mineable, but you will be able to mine other coins and then automatically convert it into Bitcoin or Ethereum. And with Kudo Miner, you can do that. You find the download code also down below here in the video description. And with this, uh, with this one, I'm also mining uh, currently and you can get access from everywhere to your miner without an additional third party software. Well, guys, the price uh, came back up again. 
10,630. Let's see if we are pushing higher. But as I told you, take it as a buy opportunity. Every dip you're seeing after the halvening, we are, we have a lot of way to go to the upside. This was the beginning here. You see where we are right now? We are just at the beginning. To the upside is a long way to go. To the downside, it's right here, zero. So the risk to miss out here in this opportunity is uh, way higher if you are not invested in any kind of cryptos. So if someone is watching that has uh, no clue about what we are talking here about, then go down to the video description, sign up uh, here, Swiss Borg, Swiss company, or Binance, also you can, or Coinbase. Where is it here? Coinbase you can get $10 for free if you use my link. Buy into Bitcoin or Ethereum, whatever coin you want. Keep it for the next one, two years. You will be very thankful in one or two years, hopefully. Yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up right now. Thank you very much for joining the live stream. Uh, tomorrow I will do again our daily ETA videos. Maybe tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, we're also going to select the winner of our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that, it, that we do every uh, week. And uh, that's why make sure to subscribe here on Twitch. Subscribe also to the YouTube channel. Very important. This is the main channel. And the live streams we do always here. Because on YouTube, there is still this very nice YouTube purge going on that uh, gives to every uh, live streamer of like crypto related stuff, content, um, warnings, strikes, they close, they're closing sometimes even accounts like for example, Da Vinci's account has been uh, closed and uh, his account I think had got a lot of strikes and warnings and closes and so on and uh, since the beginning when I heard about that and I also got the first warning and strike, I immediately, without even thinking about or, or contacting YouTube, whatever, I immediately switched over to Twitch. If we have Twitch, why we shouldn't use it? And I like Twitch much more, but the problem is that the main stage is still YouTube and that's why I'm doing my daily TA videos over there, but the live streams we're doing here on uh, Twitch, yes. I like Twitch very much and I hopefully can do in the future maybe only Twitch but uh, yeah YouTube of course is also very great but uh, yeah it has a lot of restrictions and this YouTube thing YouTube search going on I don't like really what is going on there I mean they should at least think about or have someone that gives the final okay to delete a channel completely and not just uh, let a bot doing that but anyway with Twitch, this problem should be solved. So thank you very much for watching my friends. Don't forget to moon up the likes also on the YouTube replay later and um, have a good night wherever you're watching from. Thank you very much for your support as usual. And uh, yeah, my recommendation is buy as much as you can. Here you can really buy a piece of uh, freedom for a discounted price today. So take advantage and take care my friends. Bye bye.